So I'm here before all my friends. I'm in the airport, checked in. I have my carry-on to the bathroom break. I'm waiting on them to go through TSA, but TSA is lying so long that they're finna just have to meet me because I do want something to eat. And my flight doesn't board until like 4.30. So I'm here. She got it on. She got it on. <laughs> But yeah, I'm gonna go through TSA. It's child, my friend's like an hour away. I went on the train and everything by myself. Like, I'm ready for a solo trip. But I'm gonna get Chick fil A and sit somewhere by myself. So my friends get here, eat, and I can talk to y'all if I find a table or something. But I'm proud of me. Super duper proud of me. Yeah, but yeah, I'm gonna get some Chick Fil A and call it a day. I got my food. I'm sitting on the floor facing the window because I don't like when people watch me eat. I need to eat because I plan on drinking as soon as I land. I might drink on the plane. But I gotta tell y'all, if you haven't seen my photo shoot vlog or my pack with me for Houston vlog, go watch it so you understand where I'm coming from. But me and my friends just went to Vegas in May and I randomly hit them up like, let's go to Houston, you know? And they down, they were down. But for me, this was just, I like getting away, but I needed a break. If you know, you know, if you don't go watch the videos, but I just needed a break. And it's for me to really celebrate and I want to celebrate around people that genuinely, you know, care about me and my accomplishments. First things first, I got my LLC. Um, I did my first photo shoot. Um, it's also been four months since I kicked bipolar depression, but No suicidal thoughts, no medication, none of that. Like I'm feeling good, I'm feeling back to myself. And that's what matters most. I was at Chick-fil-A waiting in arm. And I can tell this girl was hating on this couple. She was hating. And so she asked her, she said, how far along are you? The girl didn't look pregnant at all, but she took it well. She was like, nah, I'm not pregnant. I'm just bloated. And she said real loud, like, how far along are you? You about to lose your job. <laughs> why would you? And why would you be loud about it? She was right there. Guess who's here? No. I'm supposed to be <laughs> You are. See, this is why. Oh my goodness. Guess who's here, y'all? Don Look. Hi. It's the Powerpuff Girls. Period. It's an extra one of So us. we're at Longhorn getting tricks. <laughs> Start off the truth. It's a vibe. We're going to fly, but we still want to try to make that time up for you. About 90 degrees, winds out of our favorite direction, southwest in Houston. Some overlaps, we'll see you there. Thanks. Hello, how are you? Hello. So, we went to Longhorn and had drinks, baby. I feel good. This trip is going to be amazing. I already know. The energy has never been this good, like, before a trip. Like, we lit.
is Kaya's room. Her bathroom is humongous. This is my room. My jade ring broke. Send me another one. P.O. Box on the way. I like that I have a desk because I can do my makeup. This is my bathroom. <sighs> it's spacious. It's really bright. I like that. And then Tay is showering. So this is Tay's room. She's showering. Show you diamonds. Super cute. Everybody got their own bed and their own bathroom. Well, Cheyenne, my girl from college, I met her in college when she gets here. I gladly share my bed with her. But I doubt we're gonna be in the bed. Cause that's my lit sister. We might fall asleep on the couch. You know what I'm saying? Hey y'all, it's Lauren J. I'm currently just hanging up some clothes because I can. We got reservations for bar 2200 um, tonight. So we're gonna go there and the reason I'm hanging up my clothes is so I can see everything I got. I don't wanna miss anything because it's in my suitcase. I bought this stuff to wear it and that's just what I need to do, you know? You know, I got really cute stuff, but to the bar tonight, I do want to like, it's R&B night at the bar. Bar 2200, it's a lounge, but it's called Bar 2200. Um, so I just want to be real cute in the face. I doubt I'm gonna wear heels, but Texas is the home of the baddies. People think it's Atlanta. No, Atlanta is the home of the finessers. The real bad Southern women, oh my goodness. Like they are fine, fine, and they always like look nice head to toe. My first time here, but I'm talking like I grew up here, ain't I? So yeah, I'm about to organize the whole closet, shower, and I'll come back and y'all gonna get ready with me for tonight. Okay, so y'all, your girl is freshly showered. My feet hurt so bad because I've been running around your boyfriend mine all day. Like, my heels are on fire. So, we're chilling tonight. We're going to a lounge, but it's a chill lounge. We were going to go to bar 2200, but that's more of like a club scene. We didn't know, we're newbies. I'm just gonna touch up my makeup and I need to plug up my flat irons. I still use the Conairs. So yeah, these, this Airbnb is like dorm set up. Queen beds, you know, but it's like, it had to be a dorm because every room has a bathroom and we're by one of the oldest universities and biggest universities, I believe. Nah, because Texas A&M got to be bigger than this. Well, Rice University or something like that. I can't even remember. These are amazing dorms. Like, I probably would have never dropped out. That's cap because I had a private room bigger than this. I dropped out, so. If it ain't for you, it ain't for you. So, first thing first, I'm going to freshen up my brows with the Lauren J Beauty Eyebrow Pomade in Dark Brown. I don't do black eyebrows so dark brown is enough for me i don't like the way black brows look but my hair is jet black and i do like how that look jet black is amazing like oh my goodness this is also a lauren j beauty angle brush with a spoolie on the end coming soon y'all stay tuned make sure you watch my relaunch vlog all of my all of my content honestly because I drop little hints on what I'm dropping all the time. I show y'all products. I'm really on Instagram a lot. And yeah, fun fact, like whenever I'm out of town, I break out in the hives because of the water. Like as soon as I get out of the shower, I have hives all over my body. I don't have hives. It's Houston, my new home. What y'all think? Is Houston my new home? I really just want some good food hookah and a drink 
I'm gonna send a hey big head text. That's my goal. Just wanna ruin somebody's life. Hey big head. Then when I get back to Atlanta, I ain't gonna speak to him no more. I just be bored when I'm out of town and I don't wanna meet strangers, so what's up? I swear. can make music sounding like that i can make music singing how i want to sing it i'm gonna make a song right now uh, let me find my sound real quick uh, I'm, in, I'm in houston texas and i go out with my friends mm -hmm. I love you. I hope you prosper. Low, 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 low. I hope you prosper. I hope you succeed in life. What? What I say? I hope you succeed in life. Woo! Bet you that that song go eighty times nickel. 80 times copper, not platinum, not gold, but yeah, that's not a hit, baby. Let me do my real, I can sing for real, that's just me playing. Let me do, I'm gonna sing, what song should I sing? Okay. <laughs> See you walk in my direction like a yellow way. Start to stutter when I speak. Start to stand when my knees go weak. What's happening to me? In the dark, can you tell me what it means? I lay my head on the pillow, staring at the wind. Reach on the sun from the sky. What's the reason? You gotta move your mouth around. If you ever seen Tony Braxton like sing live, she do a lot of facial expressions, and I think that's what that's what the key is. It's not your voice. You just how you look when you do it. This what happen when I do my makeup. Cameras on, the cameras off. This is exactly what be happening. And why it take me so long? Cause I be having concerts. Straight up, straight up. That just we, that just will be going on, y'all. Ain't no cap, ain't no cap on it. You just straight up. I be having whole full blown concerts, man. Shout out, man. I'm done with Tony. Who else? Who else be singing and got a distinctive voice? I can't do Jasmine Sullivan. I know me and Jasmine Sullivan look alike, but no, I can't do her. I can't do her. I know you expect me because I sound really good. So I know y'all be expecting me to do Jasmine. I cannot do her. Straight like that. It's like, I'm really aware of my vocals. Jasmine Sullivan, I just can't. But if I could see, could forget I would. Please believe me. Is it messed up that I want to sing that song walking down the aisle to my fiance, future husband? I'm in love with another man. I feel like that song is just, it's its the way she said it. Like, she full of shit, but it's the way she said it that sounds so good. I sing that at my wedding. I can't explain why it's him and not you. No, 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 no. Like, the groom gonna be like, 
<laughs> he might not even look like that. I might get beat up. You know what I'm saying? I ain't gonna play like that. I ain't even gonna play like that. I already know how it's gonna go down. I've been in a situation like that. It did not end right. But it's the thing, the thing about that situation was I was completely honest with the side dude about everything. Like when I finally, he knew I was off and on with someone else. And the other one wasn't, he wasn't on nothing, but he gave me an ultimatum. The side dude, choose between me and him. And no cap, he was treating me way better than the main dude. But it's like, you gonna give me an ultimatum? Like, who are you to do that? I had a lot of pride. I chose the other guy. He still was messing with me. So it's like, what did you give me the ultimatum for? Long story short, he tried to run me over in broad daylight on college campus in his car. Crazy. Ever since then, I ain't never. I date one person at a time. I don't think I was in the wrong, y'all. I literally tried to cut him off. Like, I blocked him on everything. He was just obsessed with me. Like, we have to mutually be obsessed with each other, but he, that's thats what happens when it's someone that been in your DMs for years and you finally let up and get them a chance and they, they like you way more than you like them. You just not seeing them, but they been seeing you. So it's like, That'll never work, man. Unless it's just a cool dude. Like, he know he been working and waiting hard to get you. And then, you know, when it's his time, he show out. That's how you're supposed to do it. But a lot of you dudes, man. And, yeah. I'm going to just brush past the fact that he tried to run me over. I don't have to go into details with y'all. But just know I took the steps to end that when I seen it was getting out of hand. I'm testing. I'm sampling these rhinestones. You know I'm a rhinestone girl. It's a beautiful world for a rhinestone girl. But yeah, they are really soft. Sometimes I like my brushes a little rough, so I don't know. You know, I do like a little, I like them to choke me sometimes. I like my brushes a little rough. I like them to put their hands around my neck and choke me. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> my brushes gotta be a little rough. You know what I'm saying? The wet and wild brushes like this here, it's rough. It'd be like, uh, like that's what I need in my life. I wish I knew who I look like. Like I want to meet my great grandmother, Eula Bell White. I'm on vacation, grandmother, great grandmother. Please do not come visit me in my dreams. I have that bond with souls, like. Any, I had to be careful about my words because, yeah, a lot of stuff I'm just not prepared for. Um. Sorry for the fan, y'all, but this is the fix that your girl shows with this here bag. Chill night. Left Halo, is it called? A door. A door. We just left a door lounge in Houston, Texas, and let me tell you now. The yes, they use the same season in this JJ's. If you know, you know. If you don't, you don't. You need to catch up. So we pull up to the crib. We pull up. We pull up to the motherfucking lounge, and then. <laughs> Soon as we walk in, he like, where y'all from? Atlanta. Then he said something like, East Atlanta. And I don't know what I look like. Why he thought I had a Glock in my purse? He said, watch out for her because she look like she's strapped. If you know, you know, I don't even know how to work a gun. Don't tell nobody, but yeah. So, we go in there. And it's not even, it's not even packed or nothing like that. It was like 10 or 11 when we went in. Mm -hmm. Um, one of my friends wasn't feeling too well. 
So she ended up getting a little sick. I did do a birthday sex shot two times. And then, what did we have? Don Julio. Mm -hmm. Don Julio Margarita. Don Julio and Lemonade. Don Julio and Lemonade. And, but I, couldn't, I couldn't taste that because it tastes like water. So a guy walks up and he was just like, um, y'all lit. Now he, no, first he said, you off beat, but I ain't going to tell nobody because I was lit, clearly. So I told him to mind his business. He said, this is my business. That should have been a click, click when he said, this is my business, but I ain't think too tough on it. You know what I'm saying? So then he came back with some Casamigos gold shots. Like he had them at his table. He gave me and Kaya some shots. Then he hit the hookah, his business partner, his wife, some female that was cool with him. She came, she hit the hookah. She was turning up with us, she was lit. And then um, he reached for our receipt and he was like, dang, y'all already signed off on it. Man, why was that guy the owner of the whole facility? What? <laughs> you never know who you talking to. Mm -hmm. So then someone else walked up because they seen me sharing the hookah with um, them two. One guy walk up, he like, let me... Let me hit that. I'm like, uh, <laughs> me not speak no English. So then he reached for a bottle. He gives us gold Casamigos shots. I didn't even know the bar had Casamigos. I didn't see it. He gave us some more shots, me and Kyle. So then the we were about to leave. The owner came back and said, before you go, you got to take more shots. Don Julio. And I was reaching for a cup, and he said, nah, we ain't doing none of that lame shit. I don't like when men, I devour men. I am the powerful woman. I don't like when they pour shots in my mouth. Like, that's so gay. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so he poured one shot of that, Don Julio in my mouth and Kai's. Then he said, you got to take one more. What? I was walking to that Uber pigeon's hole. <laughs> Now it's like 12 something and I'm in the house lit. Woo, finna rock about baby ass to sleep cause we a little too lit. But it was a great night. Like I feel like this trip, like we never, we go on trips all the time, but this is the first time like the energy has been like this. So you know it's gonna be a good trip. Like we, Cheyenne touches down tomorrow. So we mm -hmm. finna be lit for real, for real. You know what I'm saying? Um, Yeah, this has been a vibe. Okay. Only thing I can do to better myself is get back in bed. You know what I'm saying? The whole time? Yes, ma'am. Look at my friend. Oh, yes, ma'am. It's been so long. Oh my goodness. Okay, so I'm not gonna record y'all getting ready with me because I want to play my music and get my vibes right. But last night I was just saying. I really want some seafood while I'm out here. Cause Houston is NOLA, Atlanta, and a little tad bit of Texas, you know what I'm saying? But I'm like, I really want some seafood. So we going to Queen Crab or something like that. I'll show y'all when I get there, but yeah, I'm finna get really cute. We going to the mall after that, and we probably going to a lit lounge. We finna get tipsy at lunch. Then we going to the mall after that. My suitcases are full, so I don't need to buy anything. But if I come across a Louis Vuitton Never Full MM, I'm buying it with the cherry insides. I'm buying it, okay? So suddenly the power went out because they didn't know bad bitches were coming to town and we were gonna use this much electricity. So while Mr. Man is on the way to fix it, I'm about to show y'all um, I'm doing black wing liner. I want to kind of get it like Nikki's, boom. But um, if I can't, I'm just do it my way, okay? This is my first time using my water activated eyeliner on my face. I've done swatches in other videos, but yeah. this is my bag again. All different colors, Lauren J Beauty, you know the name. 
tattoo it on your face if you love me. So I already cut my crease uh, when I left the room, but Houston be so hot that day. This is normal to have power outages. Like it's not just our crib, it's three blocks away. Maintenance man was like, it'll cut on them like eventually. This is crazy. I thought I wanted to move out here. I need a solar powered home. Cause what if I had somewhere to go? I kind of wish I didn't cut my crease. I like soft glam. I haven't did a cut crease in a long, long time. Okay, so now I'm about to use the water activated eyeliner. Um, you just spray water on it. And I also sell Lauren J Beauty detailer brushes. And you draw your own liner out. This is for my real artistic girls or women that are trying to be more artistic. So usually my setting spray is water. Didn't bring that, I brought this. So we are gonna see if this gets it wet. If not, I'm just go to the sink. Yep, it worked. It's wet now. I pray my eyes look good. I hope I don't mess them up, child. Liner is not my strong suit, honestly. While y'all are watching me do my liner, I'ma sing a song in the background because I know y'all love my voice. All right, let's go. I know, wait. I know that you're somebody else's guy, but these feelings that I got for you, I can't deny. Hey. So my makeup is done, honey. Cut crease. Orange day beauty all over my face. The only products I didn't use that I am about to sell, I literally, I've been using my brushes as well. Um, loose highlighter. The only thing I didn't use yet are my glitter. I have chunky glitter. I haven't used any of that yet. We made it. And we're ready to eat, okay? okay? And drink. Oh, heavy on the drink. I forgot. I drink it. Yeah. Oh, we're at the mall. It's a Simon Mall, by the way, so it's humongous. <laughs> I'm extremely excited because my whole click is winning, literally. I just got my edits for my photo shoot and now I'm about to, I need an everyday tote to carry my laptop and my camera that I'm about to buy because it's all about going up. I was gonna get a never full from Louis. That line is too long and I don't think I deserve that yet. So I'm going to MCM and get me a tote. Cause I deserve it. So y'all I ended up going to the MCM store and getting what I wanted and what I needed. I needed an everyday tote. I wanted the Louis Vuitton um, Neverfull MM. It's been sold out online for months. I've been looking since like February. I don't go to malls, so you know, if it's not online, I'm probably not gonna get it. So today I was just like, you know, I'm gonna meet a few more goals before I go really big. I went to the MCM store and I got me a new everyday tote so I can carry. All my purses are really small. I'm in a massage chair right now because my back almost gave out on me. My back, my feet, everything hurts. I got me some water and I'm getting a 30 minute massage and it's just $7, so why not? Anyways, yeah, I feel really good. I love Houston. I don't like the fact that <laughs> <laughs> this tickles. I don't like the fact that they have uh, the power out of it. But I would move here for a few, uh, like two years. I think that's what I'm going to do. I like the people here. I feel like Atlanta is so burnt out because all of you are moving there. Like it's, 
you have to really go to the hood to get a real Atlanta vibe. Everybody in Atlanta is stuck up and they're like lost. I feel like Atlanta is full of lost people. It's hard to find people that are real. Like everybody be dick riding in Atlanta. Houston, I love the vibes. Ain't no fake booze and shit. I do think there's a lot of colorism going on and it's crazy because the finest black women are from Houston or in Houston. But, um, yeah, I love it here. I also, I'm going to show y'all what I got from the mall when I get back to the crib. But I had to show y'all me in this chair. It tickles, but, yeah. Everything that is coming to you. Why does she want me to cry? God puts his strongest people through emotion. And you've been. Sometimes he need to lighten up, though. You've but, been through. You're right. <laughs> you've been through the most shit. And you stay down, you stay true to yourself, and you stay true to God. So he's rewarding you. And it's coming slowly, but it's coming. So, I'm proud of you. Thank you. And you deserve that new fucking bag that you bought. <laughs> and that new belt that you Let's bought. Let's do an unboxing. And I'm finna get you some shit too. Ooh, uh, but ooh. Uh, and she bought it herself. I put on my jewelry to Go to the bodega. This is my new everyday bag to carry my journal, my it's a laptop prayer journal, my manifestation journal, Period. my business journal, Period. my business folders and documents, my laptop that I'm finna buy, and uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> my MacBook I'm finna buy. Ooh! Camera, all of that. I'm gonna be able to vlog and provide content like super, super crazy for y'all. Period. Had a belt to match mm. my bag. Look at my drip, my drip, my swag. My favorite part. It's reversible. Yeah. So I, I can wear it. How you turn it? Feet. How you turn it? Teach them how to turn it. Girl, I gotta teach myself. You pull it and twist it. Pull and twist. Pull and twist. Hold it straight. <laughs> okay. We gonna we gonna talk about that later. And I like how she's pacing herself because she was finna get something else, but we ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about it. <laughs> we ain't gonna talk about what she was gonna Quality get today. Quality over quantity. Okay. I think it's something that's gonna last me a few years. All my. This is my biggest purse. That's sad. I need something big, okay? That's sad. And I could have even went to Michael Kors, but those straps will break. leave you. They will break. They will. That lasts for a little minute though. A little minute. A good maybe a year. I had, I, yeah, I had my little one for a year. Actually it's not it has not been a year. I see people with these and never fools for like ten ten plus years. And that's not from China. Uh, not from China. Not from China. One of the other reasons I like having is for raising cane. And baby it just got it dropped off the us. Just don't even need the father so good. Okay, so I'm gonna talk to y'all about last night's shenanigans, okay? Tell me why we went to three bars last night. We were supposed to be going to Modern Bar, but we ended up in the Midtown area and there were bars everywhere. We went to Modern Bar, which was super cool. I believe I had three shots there. Then I went to the Big Bar and I got a Living My Best Life, which was the Patron thing. Trash, tastes like water. Everything there really wasn't good drinks to me. I should have got straight shots. Then, I was like, you know what? Let's go to let's go to the bar next door, Unicorn Disco. The vibes there were immaculate. The bartender, like he was cool as fuck, pouring shots in our mouth. And yeah, every bar we went to was packed, but they closed at two. So we went to that bar. I met I met a friend, the guy in plaid. Cool as fuck. We were both plotting on a bartender. Like, and talking about life. I met a lot of people there. Like, I even got to arguing with a few niggas, you know what I'm saying? Because they was calling me toxic. Like, you don't even know what toxic is, babe. Do you want to give it a try? Do you want me to show you what toxic really is? 
after arguing with them, we went to another bar that closed at 5 a.m. Because everybody was talking about it. We stayed at Unicorn Disco until it closed. So everybody's like, what's the next move? Some people was like, man, I gotta go home. But I like Houston because everybody fit in, even if you're from out of town. You know what I'm saying? Like everybody having a good time. Everybody I met really lives there. So they nightlife is lit as fuck because the whole city was out. So we went to Sarai or something like that. Uh, by that point, I was no longer ordering drinks because the only thing I was ordering was water. Because I was towed up. I met a lot of great people during my drunkenness. That place was a vibe. I was somehow able to record, y'all. And I just wanna let y'all know I had a great night. Like, I haven't been that lit since like my freshman year of college or so. I'm literally getting DMs right now, like what y'all on tonight. talking to people <laughs> and the club closed while we were in the bathroom. <laughs> it was amazing. It was a vibe. So I'm about to change and we're heading to the zoo today. I didn't even lay my baby hairs, but it's okay. My stomach is still fucked up, but we gotta keep moving. Okay, give me some water and have a great day. I changed my outfit. I'm feeling real cute, real good. We're getting in our Uber now. About to head to the zoo. Y'all, we just got here. It is cute. It's a vibe. It's hot in Texas. But I'm ready to see some animals, especially a zebra. Oh, <laughs> 
Y'all, we are approaching my favorite animal. Well, I'm approaching my favorite animal. I love elephants. Like, my next tattoo is gonna be elephant. I am so blessed to be here right now with my favorite freaking animal. If I could jump the gate, I could, but I think I'm gonna get like zapped. Not gonna do it. I just saw another animal. I love apes and monkeys as well, but elephants got my heart. We're now about to go eat at a restaurant called Lost and Found. Lost and Found. Smoke a little hookah, buy a little drink. 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 Everywhere we go, we gotta make a song. 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 Yeah, we back at it. Halfway ready. Need to put my lip on. But me and Kaya downstairs is National Tequila Day. Uh, it was cold, so that's probably water. We're about to take a shot. I still feel dead. I kind of feel dead, but I don't play it like under eyes, under my eyes. I look like I've been drunk for three days straight. Oh, you have. <laughs> we have. We have. Okay, you ready? Mm -hmm. I'm gonna just drink the rest of this. Now. No. Now. Well, you do that. If I do that, what? The section we getting already come with a bottle or two. He ain't even tell me too many details. I ain't asked because I ain't put no money in. Exactly. So anybody doing it? We gonna have to drink that too. Get your little shot. I'm not gonna finish it off. Oh. Okay. Yeah. Mm. Mm. It don't taste like water yet. That's good for your bones. Mm. That's what that is. It's milk, vitamin D. It leads you to vitamin D. That's that shit that made you grow a beard. Okay. Heart be messed up. <laughs> <laughs> It's 10 a.m. the next day. I feel like a hospital patient. We're not even going to get into the details of last night. There's too many to talk about. No. So. It's 10 o'clock. I'm finally feeling sober. We got the Cheesecake Factory. I got a Caesar salad with some salmon. And some more food. So we made it to CSA and everything. I'm gonna have to tell y'all about Saturday night. No. Yeah, was that Saturday? I'm gonna have to tell y'all about Saturday night in a different video. If you want a story time on that, drop down below. That night was different. One for the books. One for me to tell my kids later. Like, look at my hair, y'all. I done been through a lot. It's in a ponytail. I can do it myself, so that's the only blessing, but yeah. We here on time. We finna eat. I gotta get some more AirPods because I lost one of them Friday night. Just 
crazy. A lot been going on. But we're here. I'm sick. So we're ready. Let go.